Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to this uh, discussion. Uh, today we have quite a number of questions that we need to solve and they are coming from Fourier series as a topic. And uh, to start with, uh, we have this question. Uh, it's a half range cosine series. Uh, they want us to find, well, let me read, it says that um, determine the half range cosine series for the function f of x equals sine x, defined in the range x is greater than zero and x is less than pi. The question is on the whiteboard. Uh, so let's see how we can assist each other to solve this, how to find the Fourier series uh, for this function. Now, we know that um, Fourier series is given by a half A naught plus the summation of from n equals to 1 up to n equals to positive infinity So that is the formula uh, for getting for a series. But when they talk of a half range cosine series, it means Pn, Pn will be equal to, to zero. So we shall not have that function. So for the sake of this equation, our Fourier series will only have An and a naught. So we shall be required to get a naught and, and a n. Now, how do we get a naught? We shall start with that. Um, our a naught is given by 2 all over pi, the integral of f of x dx. So this equals to 2 all over pi, we are integrating from 0 to, to pi, 0 to pi, our f of x is sine x, and then dx. Now here we integrate sine x with respect to, to x, this equals to 2 all over pi, when you integrate sine x you get negative cos, cos x, the limits from 0 to pi. So this equals to 2 all over pi. Now we insert in the limits. We start with the upper limit minus the lower limit. So where there is x, we substitute with the pi. So we have minus cos, cos pi minus. Then we substitute the lower limit. So we have minus, but we still have another minus. So it will be minus, minus. Uh, minus minus cos cos zero. Now this equals to two all over pi minus cos pi plus cos zero is one. So we need to get cos pi using our calculator. Cos pi is the same as cos one hundred and eighty, so we get cos. 180 equals to negative 1. So this equals to 2 all over pi into, of course, we already have negative minus minus, so it would be 1. So it would be 1 plus 1, which equals to 4 over, over pi. 1 plus 1 is 2 times 2, we have 4. Therefore, we are saying that. Uh, Our a naught equals to uh, pi over over four. Okay, can we have this? Now we have this. We need to get a n. 
a n is given by 2 over pi the integral of m of x cos n x dx which equals to 2 over pi we are integrating from 0 to, to pi our f of x is sin x sin x then cos n x dx now how do we integrate this um, for us to be able to integrate this um, we know that uh, we know that uh, 2 sin a cos b is the same as sin into a plus b plus sin into a minus b. We all know that. Therefore, if I want to take sin a cos b, then I divide through by 2 so that uh, sin a cos b will be equal to a half into sine into a plus b plus sine into a minus minus b. Therefore, I'll apply this concept to be able to express sine x cos n x. Therefore, sine x cos n x will be equal to a half into now a, x will be my a and x will be my b therefore this will be equal to sine into a a is now x plus n x plus sine into x minus n minus n x Therefore, so we shall be able to integrate this. So we shall say that this one, uh, let me now rub this up to this point and say that now, um, can also rub this and now rewrite this uh, 2 over pi. Uh, the integral 0 to pi this is sine x cos nx dx is the same as we now use this one will be the same as now 2 all over pi the integral of from 0 to pi then now this is the same as that which is a half into sine into x plus n plus sine into x minus n x dx. So we are going to integrate this instead of this. Uh -huh. So um, we shall take this half outside so that you say this equals to these two and these two will cancel, so we remain with one all over pi. Then uh, the integral from zero to pi sine now uh, factorize out x, x into one plus n plus sine x into one into one minus n. then dx, then dx. Aha, uh -huh. so, um,
Now, when we decorate sine x into 1 plus z, we get minus cos x into 1 plus n over 1 plus z, the limit from 0 to pi, then uh, minus, when you decorate sine x, you minus cos x into 1 minus z uh, over 1 minus z from 0 to, to pi. <coughs> And we arrange this one as 1 over pi into minus 1 all over 1 plus n. That's factorizing out 1 all over n plus 1. So this is into cos, cos x. I have this cos x into 1 plus n minus. 1 all over 1 minus n cos x into 1 minus n the limits 0 to pi. Now at this point I now substitute in the limits. So I have 1 all over pi into minus 1 all over 1 plus n Cos now when there is x with the upper limit which is pi in one plus n then the lower limit it will be minus minus one all over one plus n cos now if this is zero everything will become zero so here it becomes zero mm -hmm. then here minus one all over one minus n Cos now this is pi into pi into 1 minus n, then with the lower limit, so it'd be minus minus 1 all over 1 minus n cos 0. It is absolutely 0, everything becomes 0. <coughs> So this equals to 1 all over pi into minus 1 all over 1 plus n cos pi into 1 plus n. This will now be positive plus 1 all over 1 plus n cos 0 is 1, so you can write it that way. Minus 1 all over 1 minus n cos pi into 1 minus n, 1 minus n, then plus, cos minus minus, cos 0 is 1, so plus 1 all over 1 minus, minus n. Now from here we test for odd and even. So we shall say uh, when when n is when n is odd, our a n will be equal to one over pi into minus one over one plus n cos pi. Now odd n is 1, so here we have 1 plus 1, so it will to be 2, then plus 1 all over 1 plus n, minus 1 all over 1 minus n, cos pi, n is 1, so 1 minus 1, so this will be 0, then plus 1 all over 1 minus n. So this equals to 1 over pi into 
So this is the same as minus 1 over 1 plus n cos now 2 pi plus 1 over 1 plus n minus 1 over 1 minus n. This is cos 0. Then plus 1 over 1 minus minus n. Okay. This equals to cos 2 pi, the same as cos 360, cos 360 uh, equals to, to 1. So 1 times this, so we remain with 1 over pi into minus 1 over 1 plus n plus 1 over 1 plus n minus cos 0 is 1, so it will be minus 1 over 1 minus n plus 1 over 1 minus minus n. So from here you can see that uh, this and this will cancel. This and this will cancel so that um, we have this. So we have 0 times that. So this becomes 0. So what are we saying? We are saying that uh, for odd, when n is odd, there is no series. So we are saying that uh, uh, a n equals to zero, n when n is odd, a n equals to to zero. In other words, with odd numbers, there is no series. Aha. Uh -huh. We can now test when n is even. <clears throat> when n is even, our n will be equal to 1 over pi into minus 1 over 1 plus n cos. Now, when n is even, meaning that this is this is 2 plus 1, that is 3. So here we have cos 3, 3 pi plus 1 all over 1 plus n minus 1 all over 1 minus n cos. Now we are saying that n is 2. So 1 minus we have negative 1. So this will be negative uh, cos negative 1 pi then plus one all over one minus minus n this equals to one all over pi into minus now cos three cos three pi is the same as cos five hundred and forty which equals to negative one so if it is negative one and we already have a negative so it now turns out to be positive here. So here we shall have now 1 over 1 plus n plus 1 over 1 plus n. Then minus, we now get cos negative 180, cos negative 180, uh -huh, which is negative 1. So negative and negative now becomes a positive, so this will be plus 1 all over 1 minus n, then plus 1 all over 1 minus minus n. <coughs> now, this equals to 1 all over pi. Into, now, this will be 2, 2 all over 1 plus n, plus 2 all over 1 minus minus n. So uh, we can factorize out 2. So we have 2 over pi into 1 over 1 plus n plus 1 over 1 minus minus n. So what are we saying? We are saying that uh, an equals to 2 over pi into 1 over 1 plus n 
plus 1 all over 1 minus n. This is n even when n is even. Okay, that was the requirement. Remember from the beginning, I said that we need to find a naught and a n, and we have them. a n equals to this when n is even, a n equals to zero when n is odd. So we can now set our Fourier series. So f of x equals to a half times a naught. A naught was four over pi, then plus, now we are here, we have 2 all over pi, we take it inside, this one, inside the bracket, so we start when n is 2, because we only have the series when n is even, so when n is 2, so we have 1 over 1 plus 2 plus 1 over 1 minus 2 then this is cos cos 2x then plus when n is now 4 we shall have this which is 1 over 1 plus 4 plus 1 over 1 minus 4 cos 4x next it will be plus when n is now 6 we shall have 1 over 1 plus 6 plus 1 over 1 minus 6 cos 6x six and it continues like that so this equals to uh, here we shall have these two 1 2 here yeah, 2 so i have 2 all over pi plus 2 all over pi into now, we can work out this, we have 2, this is like 2 all over 3, minus, uh, minus 1, this equals to minus 2 all over 3, so this is minus 2 all over 3, cos 2x, cos 2x, and then uh, this one uh, is 1 all over 5. This is minus 1 all over, all over 3. This equals the LCM is 15. 5 into 15, 3. So you have 3 minus 3 into there is 5. So this equals to minus 2 all over 15. So we have minus 2 all over 15 equals 4x. Then we have this 1 over 1 plus 6, which is the same as 1 all over 7 minus 1 all over mm, 1 minus 6, that is 5. The LCM is that 5. 7 there, 5. 5 times 1, you have 5. Minus 5 there, 7 times 1, you have 7. So negative 2 all over that 5. So minus 2 all over part 5 cos 6x and it continues like that. It continues like that. So we can factorize out 2 because it's common. So this equals to 2 all over pi plus a to be 4 all over pi into now we have minus 1 all over 3 cos 2x minus 1 all over 15 cos 4x this is 2 2x minus 1 all over 35 cos 6x So that is the required Fourier series for the given uh, function. A half range cosine series of this function will be this one. Thank you for watching and listening.